Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to get the best trades in Royale High. Yay! So I've been playing Royale High for quite some time now and I picked up some nice tips that will hopefully help you with your trading journey. By the way, if you guys are wondering about the giveaway, my YouTube wasn't working for a few days and I couldn't post the results. I was supposed to post this video and the results like a week ago but this happened. I am so sorry for the delay but I am going to post the results right now or whenever this video is posted. Anyways, let's go. So the first tip I have is to never wait for people to trade you. People are unlikely to pay attention to you so I suggest you be first to talk to people and trade them first. If you're just standing there waiting to be traded, you're probably just wasting time unless you're wearing a high-valued item. I used to wait for people to trade me too because I was scared to talk to people, but I figured it was wasting my time and no one was coming up to me. Also, before you trade someone, make sure to read their bio or skim through their journal. I notice many people wanting to be asked before getting traded or their outfit is not for trade so just make sure they are okay with being traded. Another tip is to see if they are looking for anything particular. When I trade people, I always ask if they are looking for anything particular. I think this gives them a higher chance of accepting a trade because you're putting something they actually want. So if the person you're trading is looking for something in a set, you should build your offer around that. If you don't have anything they want or if they aren't looking for anything in particular, just simply put up an offer and ask if they like it. You should also put whatever you're selling or trading for in your bio, name. I was able to trade so many things because people knew I was selling them since it was in my name. Make sure to also put if your isn't outfit for trade in your bio to avoid unwanted trades. Also, I suggest you not wear items that you don't want to trade. People might get distracted by other items you're wearing and you won't be able to trade the item you want to. This happened a lot to me because whenever I wear anything expensive, People always get distracted by that instead of what I really want to trade away. So I just now wear very simple items to the trading hub. But of course, you can still wear items you want to trade with as well. You can turn off your trades, but if a person has something you want, they can't trade you. My next tip is to know your values. This one is an important one. You have to pay attention to the prices of items because honestly, I feel like they are constantly changing. For example, some people trade the Batmo heels for 80k. And others trade them for 100k, and prices are all over the place. So just make sure you're not overpricing or underpricing your items. I think you can research your item on Google and see what the majority of people are trading it for and price your item around that. And here are some extra tips that I think are pretty straightforward and don't need explaining. And that is all the tips I have for you guys today. These are the most important tips that helped me get a lot of amazing trades. Make sure to tell me if you want a part 2 because I have a lot more tips I can share. Anyways, I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.